click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends i welcome you all to this video we are with the 10th chapter of microwave engineering where a microwave signal transmission over the strip lines and further the microwave strip line transmission lines we are dealing with so we have compared what exactly the strip lines and its essential modification into the form of microwave strip lines is we have also addressed the corresponding modes of propagation the ideal type of transverse electromagnetic and quasi transverse electromagnetic mode so based on to the understandings of the basic strip lines we have solved a problem into the previous lecture so let us have one more problem on to strip lines so here we have a problem statement a strip line transmission line has a distance of 0.3125 in terms of centimeters between the ground plates if the diameter of the equivalent circular conductor is 0.0525 centimeters determine the characteristic impedance and the velocity of propagation if the dielectric constant is 2.32 for the strip line material here so here we have the problem statement that gives us the information that the strip line is having 0.3125 cm of separation between the two ground planes in the very first video of this chapter we have well acquaintation with respect to the structural diagram of strip lines so we have the two ground planes and in between the two we have the central conductor with the width capital w here so this is the one given value we can say here so this is the value of small b we can mark here whereas if the diameter of the equivalent circular conductor so with respect to the central conductor we have the circularness with the diameter of 0.0525 cm here so we need to get some modification from the coaxial transmission line to the strip line having the central conductor having circular cross section here and accordingly we have to use the formulation so what is asked in this problem statement we need to determine the characteristic impedance that is z0 z0 is equal to what is the question here and along with characteristic impedance we require velocity of propagation so velocity of propagation can be denoted as v sub xp and it is again provided with another given value regarding the dielectric constant it is the relative dielectric value for the insulating material between the conductive materials for strip line there so let us have the given details noted while having the proper symbols and then we shall be using the formulae for the characteristic impedance and the velocity of propagation we have the value of small b is equal to 0.3125 cm which can be written to the form 0.3125 into 10 to the power minus 2 in terms of meters here whereas we have the diameter of the circular conductor d is equal to 0.0525 cm so this can be regarded as 0.0525 into 10 to the power minus 2 into the si system of measurement that it is in meters there so after these two given details we have the third one that is relative dielectric constant for insulating material so it is 2.32 now as per the problem statement we first of all require the calculation for characteristic impedance so the characteristic impedance z0 for such a type of transmission line is given by z0 equal to we have to make modifications so it is 60 divided by under root of epsilon r into the ln for the ratio of 4 times b divided by pi times d here so here it is 
the distance of separation between the ground planes or you can treat it to be the height of the strip line material whereas d is diameter of central conductor so in short you can imagine these are the two ground planes and here it is the central conductor so we extend further by substitution of values in the next step to compute z0 we have 60 divided by square root of 2.32 ln of we apply 4 into 0 0.3125 divided by pi into 0 0.0525 here so here we make the calculations to find out the natural logarithm here and the natural logarithm is to be calculated over we keep 60 divided by root 2.32 as it is ln of it is 7.5788 here so computed the natural logarithm and multiplication it with 60 divided by square root of 2.32 gives the value 79.7826 so this is the value of z0 so z0 is the characteristic impedance so the impedance is to be measured in si system of units in terms of ohms here so here i outline the value here while making substitution of b and d we have used the values given into the centimeters here because b was in the numerator d was into the denominator so it was not necessary to have both of them introduced in terms of meters so 10 raised to power minus 2 in the numerator and the denominator would have got cancelled hence this particular calculation has given us the first required value so this was our problem statement are now successful with the value of z0 determined now we require velocity of propagation denoted by vp here so for determination of velocity of propagation we shall be making a use of simple formula we have velocity of propagation vp is equal to small c divided by square root of epsilon here so small c is the velocity of light wave in the free space or vacuum or in the air medium so this is equal to 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meters per second whereas in the denominator we can put square root of 2.32 so this substitution gives further calculation to result the value of velocity of propagation vp obtained as 1.9695 into 10 raised to the power 8 so as this is the velocity and the value of c is in the meters per second so this value is also in terms of meters per second so here i outline the required value here so this was our problem statement and now along with the characteristic impedance the velocity of propagation is also determined this concludes the problem number two onto the strip line here so far we have the introduction and comparison with strip lines and micro strip lines and then two numericals we have solved corresponding to the knowledge of strip lines so i hope the numericals are straightforward and the competitions have given you the solid knowledge with respect to the understanding for strip lines so in the next lecture we continue for micro strip line to get the problem number one solved there so for more such information and practice of more such problems related to microwave engineering subject you can subscribe to ekda channel thank you